there's like an eight foot person beside it, and another one's inside, and it has big eyes and looking at us, and it's still there. Okay, where is this on your property? Uh, in my backyard. And I swear to God, this is not a joke. This is actually weird. So Could all this be real? For years, the eternal question of our space buddy's existence has echoed through the cosmos. Are aliens among us? Or are we but stardust, dreaming of alien company? Today, armed with our smartphones that capture HD proof faster than you can say extraterrestrial, and social media that could send a sneezing panda into viral stardom, the evidence appears inescapable. Of them. Look on the essay. My gosh. But here's the twist. In the post-truth era, with visual effects sophisticated enough to make the Pope wear a Balenciaga puffy jacket, deciphering genuine UFO footage from the fanciful is as perplexing as alien hieroglyphics. Amid an avalanche of UFO sightings, close encounters, and sensational abduction narratives, institutional silence prevails. However, David Charles Grush, a former Pentagon intelligence officer, and Jonathan Gray, an intelligence official at the National Air and Space Intelligence Center, defy the norm. Gray counters NASA's recent dismissal of UFOs as data misinterpretations with a bold claim to the debrief, we are not alone. Grush extolled in a 2022 performance review as a man of unshakable moral integrity, robustly supports UFO allegations, even as the Pentagon dismisses his stance as unfounded. Despite all this, we still yearn for those formidable aliens of blockbuster fame. Instead, we get visitors landing in Las Vegas suburbs, two nine-feet-tall, greenish intergalactic party crashers spotted playing hide-and-seek behind a forklift. But it soon turned out that these images were CGI. Could all this be real? Well, even if UFOs and aliens do exist, the fearsome high and mighty aliens likely can't be bothered with us. Earth, it seems, is the galaxy's favorite spring break destination, attracting only the most eccentric extraterrestrials. We've got the universal attention, all right, but as a crash pad for playful alien vacationers. And that is hardly impressive. Our higher-ups know it. But revealing that we're the celestial Floribama? That's a revelation more daunting than admitting we're not alone. <laughs>